With the latest release of Adobe XD, you have even more ways to express your vision with the new Polygon tool. Shapes like triangle, rhombus, or pentagon are just a few clicks away. Let me show you what I mean. I'm here in Adobe XD, and here towards the left I have my tool panel. You're probably quite familiar with tools like the rectangle tool, uh, the ellipse tool, or circle tool. Just below that now, I have the polygon tool. And similar to the other tools, there's a shortcut that I can type on the keyboard to quickly switch between the selection states or the tools that I have in the panel. So if I come here towards my design canvas and I want to, let's say, draw a rectangle, I can type R on the keyboard. Notice that I get the crosshairs and below that a very, very small square. If I change to the ellipse tool or the circle tool by typing E on the keyboard, that little icon changes to a circle. And with the new polygon tool, if I type Y on the keyboard, I can see that it's the polygon tool because I get a very small triangle. From here, I can come in and press and drag my polygon shape. Now, as I'm dragging, if I hold down the shift key, I can make sure that all sides of the polygon remain the same length. If I want to add more sides as I'm drawing to the shape, I can just come to the keyboard and using the up or down arrow key, add those additional sides. When I release, I have the shape on the canvas. If you notice in the layers panel, I get polygon one as a default layer name, letting me know that it's there. I can come and override that name. And now I can come in and do some of the same things I would do with other shapes. So let's say I want to apply a fill color. I'll come in and grab this nice shade of green. And perhaps I want to apply a border as well. So I'll select a border color and I'll set the thickness at about four pixels. So some of those standard editing capabilities. Notice on the design canvas with the object selected, I have uh, another selector that allows me to control the roundness of the edges of the polygon. So this is consistent with a control that I have for a rectangle, for example. If I come on in and press and drag, I can start to visually change the roundness of the corners. Now, if you look at the Properties Inspector towards the right, I can see those values in the Property Inspector. If I want to enter an absolute value, let's say I want the corners to have a value of 20, I can just enter that and hit Return. I can also come in and change the number of sides that I've applied to the polygon with it selected there on the Design Canvas. Now, if I want to take my edits further, similar to the way a rectangle or an ellipse works, in XD, I can double click to sort of break the shape apart. So notice here when I come in, I'm gonna change my selection state. So I'll go ahead and hit escape to just level up for a moment and type V on the keyboard so that I'm sort of stepped out of the object. If I come in to select it and double click, it brings me down to the path layer of this object. Notice in the layers panel, it's changed its name to be a path with a default name associated with it. And I can come in and make some further edits. So I'll come in and change some of the details of the polygon. Notice that as I've converted the polygon to a path, I can no longer control the sides or the roundness of the corners because it's just a native path at this point. That's about it. I encourage you to give this new capability a try.